Leah here from Girls on Games, and we're here at Montreal Comic Con with Elias Tefexis, one of the voice actors who's played many video games, including Assassin's Creed, Deus Ex, Splinter Cell, and thank you very much for talking with us, Elias. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for, thank you for finding me here. <laughs> it's a very busy day here at Comic Con, and we'd like to know, how did you end up getting into video game voice acting? Um, it's funny, it started out as voice acting, but now everything is, it's very, it's very different. It started out, I was just auditioning like I would for a cartoon or whatever, and then I remember I did um, Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell, and they asked me to come in and try to mocap the character as well, which I'd never done. And then I did that, and uh, it, it started off, the, the, the technology was so at its infancy that it started off like we were just mocapping the body, and then we started putting dots on my face and mocapping the face, and now it's all performance capture. Nothing is voice anymore. Um, so I never set out to be a voice actor, really. I was just, it was auditioning like I would audition for a commercial or for a cartoon or something. Just, I, it was something that I did um, also, along with acting in television shows and stuff. And I booked, actually my first video game was Need for Speed Carbon, which wasn't voice either, it was a full-on camera. Like, that wasn't even performance capture, it was like a full-on camera, if you remember that game, like the actors show up in, on camera. Yeah. And so I did that game, and then that got me a couple more auditions in Montreal, actually, here. And I did a couple of uh, voice games, and then once, I remember I booked Conviction, Splinter Cell Conviction, and they asked me to, how tall I was, because you have to be 5'10 to do it. At that point, you don't have to be anymore. And um, I was like, I'm 5'10. They're like, good, you're going to mocap the character. And then from then on, it was every game since Conviction, I performance captured or motion captured the entire character. After you finished doing Conviction, were you surprised to get asked back for a blacklist? Or did you expect that Coben would reappear again? No, I mean, I knew he didn't die uh, in the last one because Sam says, like, you're still alive, that's good. But I didn't, um, when, the, when the game was... Uh, in its pre-production, when Blacklist was in its pre-production, uh, I know the director because he directed me in Need for Speed Carbon. It's all come circle. And he said, look, come help me out in the demo. And I went and did the demo for it. And I didn't, I, I was demoing the engineer characters. I was just demoing some bad guys. Uh, performance capture again. And uh, I, I just thought I'd help him out. He'd maybe give me a small part. And maybe I'd play a bad guy. And then I got a call from Maxime Belland, who's the creative director. And he said to me, uh, I just feel like playing Coben again. I was like, really? Okay. Uh, is he going to be a level that you have to beat? And then co it's like, no, 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 we're thinking about maybe kind of making him a pseudo part of the team. It's like, really? And then I read the script and it was amazing and Coben's so much fun. So, no, I, to answer your question, long-windedly, I was not expecting it. But uh, I was ecstatic to come back because Coben was one of my favorite characters I ever played in video games. You got to host the Canadian Video Game Awards this year, April. How was that experience? It was weird. It was weird, but it was very, I mean, live it was amazing. Um, I felt like on TV it didn't translate as well as it did with the live audience uh, because they had, to, they had to fit it into two hours and I was going on and on and on. Uh, so like my jokes were cut and things like that. So I was like, it didn't work like it did on the, the live, but the day, the night rather, was amazing. And I got to work, I got to see a whole bunch of other video game actors and it was really a lot, a lot of fun. And I, you know, it's great too. One thing that we don't really talk about enough is how uh, big video games are in Canada and how some of the best ones are made here. Think about it, Assassin's Creed, Deus Ex, the Splinter Cell games, um, Batman, Arkham Origins. Like, we got some great games that are being made here with some great actors, some great artists, and um, a lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people, when they find, I live in Toronto, a lot of people, when they find out I live in Toronto, they're like, do you live in Los Angeles? I'm like, no, I go there, but I don't live there. I live in Toronto. It's like, well, how do you work on these games? Because they're made in Canada, but nobody knows that. Yeah, it's great that we have that uh, ability here and the talent and the great studios. So what are you up to now? You got any more video games in the pipeline or doing more acting? or? Uh, no video games I can talk about. Oh, sneaky. Yeah, uh, I am working on a couple that I can't talk about. Although I did, I can't talk about, there's this independent game, a great game called Contrast. Have, it's have you heard about that? Oh, saw it at E3. Yeah, it's a great game. I think they're demoing it here tomorrow. Uh, it's really, really very nice. And I did, I did, uh, I played, I guess the main male character in that. It's a female characters are the leads of the game, uh, and it's a really beautiful game. Other games I can't talk about. And I'm on shows like Bitten and uh, a new show called Played. It's coming out. I do. I go guest star to guest star. It's my life. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much for talking with us. No, no, no. Thank you for finding me in this craziness. Uh, enjoy the convention. Thank you. Thank you.